Hello everyone, this is Drago, creator of the Aerodynamics mod. Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to build an aircraft and utilize the new lift mechanics that were added to the mod in the last patch. Each grid has a lift profile that is calculated by the mod. Small blocks that affect this profile have a vector that is added into this calculation if they border the edge of the grid. To create lift, you want to create a low pressure zone by pointing this vector up and away from the direction of travel. Using the debug tools, you can set a test direction that will test the grid and tell you the direction and magnitude of lift along that vector. A green line will appear along the yellow axis pointing in the debug direction. A red line will appear telling you the direction of lift and magnitude of the lift vector. The magnitude is represented as a percentage of the total length of that axis. Building a lift vector pointing forward and up along the direction of travel will counteract the lift gain by the rear of the wing shape. Moving on to the demo aircraft, advanced lift is enabled in this world, so placement of the center of mass and center of drag is important. You want the center of mass to be in line with the direction of travel and forward of the center of drag. I will add some heavy armor here to move the center of mass forward on this aircraft. Here I will be adding some angled surfaces to the front of the wing. These are pointing to the left and right and are being canceled out by the mirror mode building that I am currently using uh, on the opposite side of the aircraft. Now we will be adding the blocks that will create lift. The lift vector is pointing up and away from the direction I want to travel. Using the debug menu again, we can show the total effect of lift on the craft in that direction of travel. Now that we're all finished, let's give this thing a test flight. Uh, perfect landing. Lift profiles apply to more than just aircraft. For example, on this minimal rover, it can be hard to control on tight turns. We can improve this by adding a spoiler to the craft. Place a block with a lift vector forward and up along the primary direction of travel.
we can again get a visual test using the debug screen. Underneath here, you'll see that red line pointing in the downward direction this time. And just like that, our vehicle is handling way better than it used to.